In today's episode of Walkabout World, with a full download, we are going to make a hobbit hole that even Bilbo Baggins would be proud of. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Aramance, in my walkabout world. This is a series where I make one thing in each episode and put it in for a world download, but all of the episodes are in a single world, so you can go back right to episode one, all the way over there. Last time, we made this really pretty little stable. Dead simple, actually, but lots of detail, and it looks pretty cool. Since then, we've sparkled the place up a little bit with a little water feature, tiny little field to have the hay for those horses and the donkey. And I've also continued along the road over here because it's time for episode six, which is this way. But I suspect not a lot there yet. And unsurprisingly, just a big hole of green. I'm gonna to do today something that I have in the last, I reckon two weeks, been literally inundated. I've not counted them, but if there are less than 50 requests for this particular build, I will be absolutely surprised. I've seen a few of them else around, so I'm jumping on the bandwagon, and we are doing a Hobbit hole, but we're gonna do it in my style. Now, what we've got here, turning around, is not much of a kind of lump whatsoever. In fact, it's very, very flat. And I'm gonna to need to make detailing and a hill. Now, I'm gonna take some inspiration from my friend off of Legacy SMP, Arcalus, who did one a little while ago. I spoke to him and he said he was very happy for me to take inspiration. I'm gonna do it in my own style, but I'm certainly gonna put it next to a little river. And we're gonna make the river the same way he did. And this is gonna be fun. We are gonna mainly freestyle this build here, but this is the palette that I suspect I'm gonna be using the most of. Lots of woods, a little bit of stone, certainly plenty of mossy stuff and green stuff, and some little bits of walls and other things like that. I will be bringing other things in too. So the first thing I wanted to do was to make a bit of a trench that we could put some water in. And I thought, let's use TNT because that is the funnest way. And my mate Arcalus did it in a video recently and I thought, what genius. I then had to fill it up with water and I realized very quickly that the best way for me to do that is to put a layer of blocks underneath the water to get a level playing field across the top. Once I did that, I started to build the mound that is gonna become the basis for the entire Hobbit hole. And actually, it needs to be pretty big. And we've got one mound of dirt. There are, I don't even want to know how many mounds of dirt in there. There's thousands of dirt blocks inside. <laughs> That's just taken me ages. Oh my goodness. But I have kind of made it so we've got a little area here that I can form the bridge that will bring us over into the Hobbit hole. So now what we need to do is look at the front and decide where are we going to put things like the door and the windows. Now, what I want is for the path to come up and kind of wind around a little bit. So if I get the door kind of around about here, I think that would work quite well, which would mean that we'd want to put the window here. So I'm just going to create a window shape around about that sort of size, because it's going to be indented. And then that, and let me just go one, two, three, four, and we probably want one down like that and then that and that that's so that is going to kind of if you can imagine it's going to be the window shape kind of like there like that that kind of up to that eight square there so i'm just going to pop things around to get this window and this other area going i need to dig this in to try and make some kind of form to that too um so 
that's going to come out like that and like that. So if I start to create this, I'm going to need to do some hollowing out so as the window actually makes sense. There's no point in having the window if there's nothing to look out from. So that shape there will be the window with the pathway coming up. And I'm going to put a double door in like that. OK, let's get cracking. I started to trim out the edges of the window to make it as circular as possible and then took the dirt out and also did the same for the door. The wandering trader just got in the way. I then replaced it with dark oak because I felt that was going to be what was nicest with spruce behind, put in some green so as it's a nice green theme throughout and then began to trim up the window. I then laid in just a few slabs to start to build the steps up to the front door, which I surrounded in dark oak logs. I felt that the hobbit hole would probably have some kind of wood behind the window and the door just to give a bit of a support so it wasn't just dirt. So I interlaced that with oak planks and also some stripped logs. I then built up a bridge between the land and the hobbit hole and used some campfires which I extinguished using some splash water potions. I then thought I'd put just a little bit of croppage in there so I placed some secret water sources underneath other blocks and put in some wheat so that would grow nicely and give a little bit of movement outside the hobbit hole. Obviously added some bushes, you can't do it without bushes. I then thought that there needs to be a source for the water that comes in from the left hand side going into the lake on the right. So I decided to build some kind of fountain waterfall type structure that comes off of the side of the hole using some various different types of cobble including mossy cobble, mossy cobble steps etc. And then just allowed that to flow straight into that river. I surrounded it with bushes and also placed a number of flowers and other decorations around it and then put in some cane just to give it a little bit of life. I continued to frame up the opening of the hobbit hole with more bushes just to give it a nicer, more comfortable, homely feel. I thought the rest of the hobbit hole probably needed to have a little bit of stone in it as well so I surrounded the right hand side with a bit more stone too and then added some lights and lanterns onto some walls just to make sure that it was homely and could be seen from a distance when the hobbit comes home. Side starting to look not too bad actually but we've still got literally a mound of earth on the inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to venture in open up these doors oh dear it literally is just dirt so I've got to try and make the inside look a little bit more fab and once we've got that sussed we can finish off the outside because that is no way finished either all I'm going to end up doing here is digging this bit was just a case of creating a hole to give me a little bit of room to work in. So I dug out just a strip behind the door and the window, one level lower than the door, and started to put in a little bit of strip to open because I planned to use that as my floor. I also created a second level with some steps going down so as the actual hole itself would be below the level of the window. Right, so we've made the shape of the insides, but we've not actually decorated it up yet. So we've got a nice little entrance hallway. I've done all the recessed lighting, but I've not done anything inside. You can see all the floor is done. This comes up to a second floor with a little mezzanine type overhang deal there. Nice big space and out the back where we're gonna have another kind of dormer window facing out onto the back and I need to design that next. So I will reveal what I've done on the inside at the end. Let's finish off the outside. 
I wanted to put in a back window in that area there, so I thought I'd keep it circular as well, maybe a very similar shape to the one at the front, using again a dark oak to match up the front and the back. Used various trapdoors to give it a little bit of texture, and then gave it a bit of a surround using some extra dark oak. Decorated it up again very similarly to the way we did with the front, with bushes and flowers and things like that. I then added pieces of stone around it. Again, this outcrop that The Hobbit has made its hole in isn't just dirt, it's got all kinds of stone and things like that mixed into it too. I then built a custom lamp that would light the way in along that path using trapdoors and a hopper and then thought a custom tree would also be really welcoming at the side of that lake. It's then time to put some life into the water itself so using some sea pickles I have lit that up put in a lot of bits of seagrass just to make sure that there's life inside it and trimmed it up with things like lily pads and put some fish in too that gives good movement. I finished this fella and I have to be honest I am really pleased with the way this has come out first ever hobbit hole I have made and I am really really enjoying it. This is what it looks like and I've got to say it's all right look we've got all sorts of things going on I'm going to go inside first and show you what I've done there before we go to the outside so inside we have got a nice welcoming entrance hall with the inside of the door echoing the outside with that kind of circular pattern and we've got lots of shelving a nice way to look out we've got an interesting floor that I've made out of uh, campfires that are extinguished I right, really like the uh, the effect that gives nice open fire that goes up to a chimney at the top that we'll look at in a moment we've got storage for all of the wine that the hobbit that lives here is likely to want to drink up here we've got a lovely living area nice and open with a carpet echoing the green color that uses in the glass and also the glass at the back we've got all of our armor we've got obviously cartography because hobbits they like to explore so they need maps we've got somewhere to sleep coming through to the back we've got the back window which I'll show you again in just a moment and then through here obviously this is a land of magic and we've got to have somewhere for Gandalf to come and practice his spells outside we have landscaped this thing beautifully we've got that waterfall running into the river that runs into that little lake with all of the decoration next to that custom tree that we've got then behind the tree we've got our pathway that goes up to the front of the house past that custom light fitting there with the fields on the right hand side and the big old window running up to the front door with the bell we have landscaped this mound completely with bushes and flowers and rocks and posts with lighting on so as we reduce the mobs that want to come and eat the poor hobbit's face the window at the back allows views to both the south and the north face of this entire hobbit hole and we've got the chimney at the top that is slightly broken up where it's worn down from the wind but is still making sure that the smoke can disappear from that fireplace that we made inside there is a world download in the description below if you want to come and look at not just this hobbit hole but the entire world all the way from walkabout episode one right up to walkabout episode six this one let me know what you think in the comments below i'll be delighted to hear from you also if you've got any ideas that you think you'd like me to do in the walkabout world then do hashtag walkabout and let me know what you think you would like me to do because i've got lots of space in this world it's pretty much infinite if you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.